that the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x. Okay, now this is one of the wonders of maths that the derivative of a function is a function itself. So to prove this, we'll first take a general case. Now this is a particular case of an exponential function. So let us take a general case of an exponential function and say, well, y, let y is equal to b to the power x. Now this implies, writing this as a log form, I can write x is equal to log base b of y. Now this is how I remember to change from the exponential form to the log form. The base should be the same in both the forms. Here the base is b and here also the base is b. Okay, now this is y is called the argument and x is the power. Okay, so the answer becomes the argument and the power becomes the answer. Okay, so this again can be written. So therefore I can write x is nothing but natural log of y over natural log of b. Okay. Uh, I hope you can understand this. Suppose to explain this. Suppose uh, you, um, let me explain this. Uh, suppose you have log, uh, let us take base 10. So we know log of, say, 1000. 1000. Log of 1000 is 3. Okay, because 10 cube, the base of log, natural log, our common log is 10. Uh, so when you say log 1000, the base is understood to be 10. Uh, so how did I know that log of 1000 is 3? Because 10 cube is 1000. Okay, so let me show this on a calculator. Say if you type in log 1000, it will give you 3. So log 1000 can be written as log, natural log of 1000, divided by natural log of 10. So that will give you the same answer, natural log of 1000 divided by natural log of 10, because the base is 10 there, which is, uh, which is say 3. Okay, so uh, here the base is 10, so that's why I'm dividing by natural log of 10. Okay, so I hope that is clear. Let us not waste too much of time there. So this is this can be written as this. So now what I'm going to do is this is therefore I can write x is 1 over natural log of b times natural log of y. Now I'm going to use the operator, the derivative operator on both sides. Therefore d by dx of x is equal to, now this is a constant so I can write 1 over natural log of b times d by dx of natural log of y. Now d by dx of x is, we are asking the question what's the change in x for the infinitesimally small change in x. So d by dx of x is nothing but 1. So 1 is equal to 1 over natural log of b times. Now here we have to use the implicit differentiation. You are, you can't differentiate natural log of y with respect to x. So this I'm going to write as d by dy of natural log of y. Now to cancel this dy, I'm going to write this and to bring this dx times dy by dx. Now I want you to think, stop and think. So this is implicit differentiation. So d by dx, you have got d by dx here. This dy and this dy gets cancelled. The reason I wrote d by dy is to differentiate natural log of y. I can differentiate natural log of y only with respect to y. So I wrote d by dy and then I multiplied by dy. Okay. So therefore, I can say 1 is equal to 1 over natural log of b times d by dy of natural log of y is 1 over y. I have made a video on 
again the derivative of natural log of x which is 1 over x so natural d by d natural uh, d by dy of natural log of y would be 1 over y times dy by dx this is implicit differentiation so uh, multiplying both sides by y times natural log of b or cross multiplying i can say y times natural log of b is equal to dy by dx okay this implies this implies if y is equal to b to the power x then dy by dx is equal to y times natural log of b therefore i can say dy by dx is equal to what is y b to the power x times natural log of b so this is the general case of any exponential function now if b is equal to e now if we are going to make it a special case now if, if b is equal to e e is a constant b is also a general constant now if b is equal to e this implies uh, your function y will become e to the power x therefore uh, let me scroll down i can say dy by dx is equal to uh, in place of b i can put e e to the power x times natural log of e the natural log of e has a base of e so this is nothing but one therefore if y is equal to e to the power x this implies dy by dx is e to the power x